So I wanted to make this vi uh, video basically after the check-in with Wes and Matt, but after making this splendid video of mine, only after 30 minutes they decided to chin block me and say that they're gonna do a community check-in. So I was like, oh shit, what a great timing to my awful or no, my best rant video yet. And of course, it would be kind of goofy of me to start ranting on these assholes and then suddenly starting to praise them. Because honestly, from what I've heard in this check-in, it was actually not that bad. But as I said, if I go from making a huge rant video where I basically cuss every 5 seconds like I'm some, some idiot with fucking anger issues. Anyway, we're here. We're gonna discuss this community check-in in the Dangerous Groups either way. So, uh, of course, I live-streamed the community check-in myself, so I have some clips of my reactions. But first of all, we're gonna start with the hard part that probably hit us the most, and it was right in the beginning of the stream. There's nothing about a new family member. No news about him, nothing interesting from the devs, or anyone in general besides leaks by WhatsApp the Great. But unfortunately, nothing about the new family member. I'm afraid we're not gonna get him this April. I hated to say it, but with the way he's, with Matt said it, I have a very bad feeling that he will not be coming this month. Speaking about Matt, Wes was unfortunately not there because he was sick, but figures, I hope he feels better now. So, let's continue. The next part Matt was speaking about was lobbies. Now that was a huge topic, but the real main cause of these lobbies are lobby dodgers, as we know, because people are really still entitled to their own playstyle and to their own way of who they want to play against, whether it's family or victim, and if they see someone in the opposite team or they have a very bad teammate, they are bound to dodge, because unfortunately they are not willing to take an L for once, because apparently this game has some sort of KD ratio at this point. Of course, lobby dodge is being a huge thing. We also know about the six-man lobby bug, where basically the lobby doesn't get a new player till like three minutes, or if a victim leaves specifically, not a family member, but a victim has to leave the lobby in order for the lobby to thrive again. And as I said, if you're a three-man or a four-man, then this kind of sucks because that means you have to abandon Parley, or you're gonna have to ask a very silly individual to leave. But if they don't comply, then yeah, here we are once again. So next up, I'm gonna be playing some clips of the stream with my own reaction so you can figure out what I really think about the rest because I don't really want to recap them again. But of course, I will still have my opinions after this. So let me just play some clips. Our next patch is April 30th. 30? Uh, the April 30th patch is going to be mainly fixes. You guys are working on the game? Of content in that, it's 30 uh, April? <laughs> Two weeks, let's go. More details on that at, at a later time. No um, months. As we get a little closer to Two the weeks. 30th. But yes, the next patch is April 30th. And with that, it leads into the next point, which is we're aiming for a patch every two weeks from here out. Yes! So we'll have a patch April 30th, and we're aiming to have another patch two weeks following that, and two weeks following that, and on and on and on. Let's go, uh, Matt! Now you're talking good! Important notes on that patching schedule and kind of cadence. Um, from there on out... Maybe uh, that's in the oh, patch for 30 April. In terms of cadence know. and timing of things... Um, the team is targeting to drop a new cosmetic every two weeks oh! for the next few months, at least, if not into the foreseeable future. We're pretty confident we can keep that Five dollar cosmetics every two weeks? Man, my wallet is gonna go we empty. We don't want to overpromise and, and get ourselves into a stitch. We know for the next few months we're targeting a new cosmetic drop every two weeks. Let's go, uh, W, our uh, boy! That's gonna be family and victim cosmetics. Cosmetic per drop. A lot of you have asked about why would we share only one cosmetic per drop, and that's to kind of make sure that we're keeping these things sprinkled throughout. Yeah, I think uh, the I family think cosmetics will be one outfit only, similar to like Bride Sissy and Shirtless Johnny. Um, because of this, the family outfits are at a little bit of a reduced price. They're only two ninety nine for a family outfit. Oh shit! Um, and we also have some really that's cool nice free things coming, which three dollars for a family skin. Again, not going to say much more on now, but we have. Uh, Matter of fact, I want to say we have a very cool free thing coming April 30th. So <laughs> uh, uh, I love free things. stuff. Um, and that's a uh, that that about covers my outline. There is uh, one uh, when the new f family will be ready. Uh, again, I don't have dates on that. Will we see a level cap increase? Absolutely. One. Uh, one. Here. Do we will do we will have a friends <laughs> list? Do will we have a friends? No, list? he's gonna say no. I think no. this would be good. 
That has a couple of hurdles. I'd have to check in with production on what all that would entail. Oh, wait. I know that it was no small undertaking at the time of launch, which is why there isn't one present. Yeah, they said no um, first. I don't know. You know, again, production isn't my particular, you know... Uh, hey, company, how are you doing, man? So uh, I would have to check in with them if anything has maybe changed or if there's some kind of new movement on that. But uh, we hear you on it. Obviously, it would be great, but it's not without its problems. Okay, so maybe they're considering Least adding a friend list. That's something that we're obviously definitely <laughs> going to be looking into. As we said in the beginning of the stream, we have to get to the bottom of some of these things with lobby dodging, get that kind of off the top. You know, if we can eliminate most of the lobby dodging issues, um, we can then start to really see what might be happening with match. Uh, huge shout out to Art Bully working on um, some of these new cosmetics. We're seeing some really cool stuff, and it's making its way to you guys again as i said earlier in the stream we're targeting every two weeks i have a new cosmetic of for one yes. of the other victim of family my wall's gonna refresh cry victim cosmetics will stay in the same route the, the, the same kind of pattern that they've been now which is one outfit and some recolors <laughs> the family side is a singular outfit which is why the family outfit is a little cheaper than the victim one um, with map those, voting. We're targeting every so, you basically heard my last moment of saying map voting. Uh, people want them to add a map voting system, but unfortunately, please don't, because it's a 4v3. Shen's gonna be more rigged than the American president elections. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, basically, my honest thought, I may have sound excited during the community check-in, but of course, keep in mind, I am aware of the fact that they are probably gonna need to prove this to us first, so of course, we, we can always have high hopes, but there, it was something at least. This community check-in was way better than I hoped to be. Unfortunately, most of us don't want some family member news, but unfortunately, that was not the case in today's, or in that check-in. So, yeah, hopefully they can keep their word, because things are, of course, easier said than done. Am I excited for the future? A little bit. I'll keep my hopes down, especially after making this video. Because once again, things are easier said than done. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I'll be making a separate video on some of these subjects, like how to really fix the lobby dodging issues, because I've seen some good suggestions, and I also have some good suggestions in general. Will they probably take the opinions in? <laughs> probably not, but hey, the least I can do is at least suggest some stuff while we're at it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, y'all. You are appreciated, as usual, to be watching my videos. I'll be catching you guys in the next video or stream. And yeah, that will do. My name is Dengus Crusader. If you enjoyed the video and want more, make sure to drop a like and a sub. And that will do for today. I hope you have a great day or a good afternoon or a good evening, depending on where you live. And I'll be catching you next time. Have a good day, good evening, good afternoon. And have my blessings. Goodbye.